Hello, we're Buster and Rosie with Freelands and Friends. Do I get a part? Well, tell them who you are. I'm Glenda. I'm with Freelands and Friends too. <laughs> so what are we going to do tonight? Well, how would you like to look back at the things you used to do? Or that you've done before? Oh, you mean like old videos? Yeah, some we already done. That'd be fun. I think they'd like it too. Would you guys like that? Can we go do this now? Okay, let's go do this now. What, Rosie? It's Rosie and Buster time. Rosie and Buster time. Rosie and Buster time. Hello, everybody. Yeah, we've been waiting to come back and see you. Oh, we've had so much going on. Yeah, like what? <laughs> well, you forget that we went out and played. Uh, okay. Well, yes, we did. I know, but I'm giving you a little bit of trouble. Well, don't do that. It makes me confused. What does that mean? What's confused? Well, when I think maybe something happened, and it, then I think maybe it didn't, and I just don't know. Oh, that's what confused means. It means mixed up. I thought that's what you did in a bowl. You mix things up. Well, that too. Words are weird. Well, that's why Glinda does weird word worlds. She did one late recently. What was that all about? Stuff that, um, synonyms for Fourth of July things like independence and freedom. Oh, yeah, those were really funny. She made them funny. Well, some of them were just really weird synonyms. Anyway. What are synonyms? Uh, they don't sound the same, but they mean something like that, or they mean the same. I'm still mixed up and confused. <laughs> to tell you the truth, so am I most of the time. I think Glenda does get that way, too. Oh, I know she gets confused. Hey! You talking about me when I'm not out here defending myself? You heard me, who you did. Yeah, but it's still, it's not nice to talk about people behind their back. Well, we're not exactly talking about her behind her back. We're in front. <laughs> okay, silly, silly pups. Where are we? I don't know. It's scary. You hear those noises? Oh yeah, like like monkeys? Yeah, and jackals. Oh man, this is scary. Where are we at today, guys? We're in, is this a jungle? Well, kind of. Do you know what kind of tree that is? I don't know. Is there such a thing? As an aloe tree? Well, it looks like a tree right now. <laughs> you mean we're on in the front porch jungle? Yes, we are. And there's all kinds of sounds around us if we make them. If we make them? Yeah. Or maybe we can find some sound effects. Those always help. <coughs> oh, what was that? A little monkey. Roar. What was that? That was a lion. <laughs> <coughs> What's that? Well, they say... Tigers don't growl, they chuff. <coughs> That's 
sounds about right, I guess, if that's what they do. It's Jeff. What was that? A crocodile. Ooh, you know what's fun to do about the crocodile? What? Well, I don't know if we can do it with you two. It would be like if kids hold their arms way apart and go, Kwomp. that would hurt our, that would hurt our, yeah, it hurt mine. Okay, we won't do that. I can make my mouth look like a crocodile. Boom. I can make mine sound like a crocodile. Chomp and shut. Almost. <laughs> yeah, a little louder than it would be. What are you doing? Don't hurt my plant. But it's a tree. It's in the way. In the jungle, you knocked them out of your way. Well, we try not to. We, I mean, we should try not to hurt the trees. Only the ones that are already dying. Then we can take those out. This is actually kind of fun. Whoa. I'm out of breath. Yeah, that was quite an adventure. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> well, we went to the jungle, guys. Yeah. The owl tree jungle. Well, it was Halloween. It was like a jungle out there. Wow. And there were monkeys. And lions. And tigers. Do tigers live in Africa? Well, I don't know if anybody any do much anymore. I think most of them are in India and Asia. Oh, how'd you learn all this? Linda. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's where we, where we eat most of our stuff. Right now, it's fine. All day long. Yeah, I'm getting a little tired. Want a story? Sure, why not? What you got? Well, it's like this. Lay down. I'll try. There was this farmer. His name was Del. He kept his dogs in a shoe that he built. With so many puppies, Mrs. Wolfie didn't know what to do. Oh, no. Well, that's how Mr. Wolfie came home from the cattle drive with a kettle of beef broth round his neck and dropped burgers out of each pocket of his vest. He wore a vest? Yeah, it seems a lot of dogs do these days. Why don't we? Uh, I have no idea. Let's go on. Then, the Mr. Dr. Wolfie told a story about the day. What happened? Well, it seems a cow got mad at Dr. Farmer Dell and for trying to milk her, and she kicked the bucket and jumped over the moon. Oh, Buster, that's silly. Well, I don't know. It looked like Swiss cheese after that. So, I don't know. It looked pretty good to me. Yeah. Yep, yeah. and that moon, it just, it really did turn to Swiss cheese. Some of it dripped on me, and I got a lick. Oh, really? Back on to the farm. Little Mary Dell, she took a lamb to school and that was, oh, she got in trouble because that was against the rules. Yep, that was against the rules. From then on, that sheep turned black. But why? Why would he turn black? He was treated like an outcast in the barn. You've heard of the black sheep of the family. How sad. Nope. He grew up and everybody wanted his black wool. Oh, yeah? Yeah. But he could only produce three bags a year. Oh, what'd they do with him? 
He gave one bag to the farmer, or the farmer took it, rather, and one for little maid Mary, you know, the one that took her to the milk in the school, and one for the Mrs. Goose who lived down the lane. <laughs> you made that up. Nope, but a lot of other people did, and I stitched it together. Oh, Buster, you're silly. I know, but you love me. Oh, I know I do. And so do they out there. <laughs> that was fun looking back. Yeah, I remember doing that story. And I remember the jungle. That was so fun. An aloe jungle? Well, it was fun anyway. Yes, it was. Well, I'm glad you had fun with this. Can you say good night to everybody? Good night, everybody. Good night. Don't let the bed bugs bite. No, that feel really weird. Good night, good night. Till we see you again. Is that okay? That's fine. Good night.